Hello, and welcome to the Orange Blossom Trail Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Anthony Miller, and I am the Project Manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will present information on the department's plans to improve safety through this project. We encourage your feedback, and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 449-403-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email at melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The project is located on Orange Blossom Trail, US 441, from Sand Lake Road, State Road 482, to Holden Avenue, south of Orlando, in Orange County. This project proposes improvements to enhance safety and operations along the project corridor for all users. Changes are being proposed to enhance safety and the community along the corridor. There will be signalized intersection improvements, visual enhancements, construction of additional pedestrian hybrid beacons, and several other features. Historically, this area has experienced multiple crashes with bicycles and pedestrians. The department has been improving this corridor on a regular basis since 2007 to respond to these increased bicycle and pedestrian crashes. These improvements included a reduction of the speed limit along the corridor and the construction of a raised median. This project design proposes improvements similar to those constructed along Orange Blossom Trail between Holden Avenue and 34th Street. These safety improvements have been coordinated with the Orange Blossom Trail Development Board, Orange County, and Lynx. Now, we're continuing improvements on Orange Blossom Trail with this project. Pedestrian safety will be further enhanced through the construction of new raised mid-block crossings equipped with pedestrian activated signals known as pedestrian hybrid beacons, or PHBs. Here's a rendering of a crosswalk with a PHB. A PHB is an overhead traffic signal designed to help pedestrians cross by requiring motorists to stop during a red light phase. However, unlike a regular traffic signal, the signal is dark until activated by a pedestrian. In addition to the lights in the overhead beacon, in-road lights will help alert motorists to crossing pedestrians when the pedestrian hybrid beacon is activated. Improved pedestrian lighting along the corridor will also enhance safety for all users. Currently, within the project limits, there is one PHB located on Orange Blossom Trail, just south of Doss Avenue. 
PHBs are proposed at the following locations for this project, north of Wakula Way, south of Lake Jessamine Drive, south of Woodsmere Avenue, and four PHBs are proposed between Americana Boulevard and Holden Avenue. Improvements are proposed to add a raised crosswalk to the existing PHB crossing south of Doss Avenue. Let's zoom into an example of a PHB along the corridor. We can see a number of changes proposed that we have discussed on the previous slides, including raised crosswalks and enhanced pavement markings to highlight the crosswalks. Some PHBs will use the raised median island to create a refuge and help pedestrians crossing Orange Blossom Trail. The modifications here also include adjusting the speed limit to 30 miles per hour to accommodate these safety features. Landscaping and median fencing are also visible and will continue throughout the corridor. Surrounding driveways at some businesses may be modified as shown in the aerial graphic. Reducing distance for pedestrians and in some cases adjusting slopes to meet current ADA or Americans with Disability Standards. The project also proposes additional safety improvements at intersections, including crosswalk realignments, pedestrian signal replacements, hardened center lines median refuges, lane width reduction striping, radius return reductions, truck aprons, and side street entrance lane reductions. The graphic shown here of Americana Boulevard is one example of these improvements. Additional intersections with similar improvements include Southland Boulevard, Skyview Drive, and Orlando Central Parkway, Chancery Lane. Other intersections along the corridor, such as Lancaster Road and Wakula Way, include the same improvements shown previously, but do not reduce the lanes to side street entrances. We should also note that improvements to Oak Ridge Road are being completed under a separate project. There are currently 28 transit stops between Sand Lake Road and Holden Avenue, Lynx Bus Route 107, Downtown Orlando, Florida Mall, and Route 441, Fast Links 441, run along the corridor. Lynx plans to update the locations of four northbound stops and six southbound stops in a separate project prior to construction beginning for this project. This project does not include updates to the travel lane configuration. In the existing condition, the roadway consists of 11 and 1 quarter foot outside lanes, 11 foot center lanes, and 10 foot inside lanes for both northbound and southbound travel, separated by a 15 and 1 half foot grass median. There are 8 foot sidewalks on both sides of the roadway. The proposed typical section will add a pedestrian fence to the median with landscaping to discourage pedestrians from crossing at non-designated areas. In the current condition between Councillor Row to Orlando Central Parkway Chancery Lane, there are four southbound travel lanes. This project proposes to convert the outside 11-foot travel lane into a green space adjacent to the sidewalk. The southbound outside lane from Orlando Central Parkway Chancery Lane to West Lancaster Road will be converted to a dedicated right turn lane. Added safety benefits of these proposed improvements include reduced pedestrian crossing distance at Orlando Central Parkway Chancery Lane, elimination of the additional through lane that may be used as a passing lane or acceleration lane, and it provides a consistent typical section through the corridor. We are currently in the design phase of the project schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed by early 2024. Additional right-of-way is not required for the improvements. Construction is not currently funded. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. There are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by April 21st, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. To submit comments in person, you may speak to our project staff on the floor tonight or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at anthony.miller at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida. 32720.
You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5530 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about the project, please go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 449-403-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Friday, April 21st, 2023. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 449 403-1. Have a good evening.